Good morning and welcome back everyone to a lovely fine morning in Colony Survival. Hi. That's right. I'm here with Duncan. Hello. Uh, Duncan, uh, I found him five minutes ago lying on the sofa, moaning and groaning. Uh, <laughs> I wasn't moaning or groaning. I was, you was reading my Tamagotchi. Uh... Was, how long did you leave the server up? I'm I'm like five minutes. My base. Oh five, no! I only loaded uh, I did... it like five minutes ago, Revs. Oh no! So I, I, being... I went through thousands of bullets, my my lads. No, I just think them. that's you just not being, not testing what you're up to, Revs. There's already chaos. Um, how many lads have you lost, Revs? Welcome, uh, welcome everyone. I don't know yet. They're they're <laughs> they're coming. Uh, Yogscar Cyan says. You need to make the goal 1k dudes in your main base. That is the goal, your Scar sign. We are here to collect, collect, get, collect, Gillette. Uh, a lovely razor, a lovely shave, a lovely <clears throat> soft shave of your face. Oh, Gosh, it's nice having oh, a smooth. Oh. A sponsored. <laughs> we're here to collect a thousand dudes. We're here to collect. We're here to, um, we're here to rescue, to, to home, to breed. Rehome. Breedable. You may have to send your studs over, Duncan, because I'm. My guys are taking mad. These losses are just tasks. Oh shoppers, god, really? Ravs, these guys ain't. These guys. Oh yeah, look, they're coming in. Oh, it's good to That's see the zombies. Good. It's good to see the zombies eating Ravs' dudes. <laughs> well, these are daytime dudes, right? Daytime zombies. This is the threat, yeah. Ravs. If you have a you big have daytime wall, zombies, and you yeah. don't clear your zombies during the night, the daytime zombies stick around. Are you punching them? Yep. Do you know you can get yourself a bow, you get yourself some arrows, and you can shoot them? Um, there we go. Look, I'm killing this guy for you. Thank I got you. Him. He ate one more dude. Oh my god, that healed him! <laughs> that healed him! No, they're, um, they're, they're eating dudes. Oh god. Oh, they they're humanity. just munching on your scroll dudes. There we go, I got rid of them. Crisis Fucking averted. Hell. So, um, I play Colony Survival. It's like Minecraft, but... Um, in 2023, and um, if the idea is that you don't need to do all the sh digging yourself, you have dudes for that. You don't need to. A but the but zombies come into your base at night and kill you, so you have to have a gigantic trench to the to the Klim to the Sea of Klim. There you go. I think I've caught up who's um who's who's missed up missed missed up catched up. It seems say... they don't have scroll cases, but they do. I give them. I give them. Uh, so welcome everyone. Where's your token? So welcome. Your scroll cases well, are up there. On. Look, they're great. They need, are they too need high? Roughly... Can they not reach? I don't think they can reach the the three high ones. No. But these are... look, they're all full. But these ones aren't. These two aren't. Hmm. Maybe they they're standing on something to reach those. Oh, okay. I got to move all these then. How annoying! I think they How also... annoying! I thought it'd be like a library where you have like ladders and stuff, you know. That would be cool. I'll ask the devs to add ladders. Ladders the for the scroll cases. Mm. Version. Scroll case. Laddered scroll case. Still got a lot of berry boys here. Still got a lot of... Um, I noticed there's lack of a boat. This is the oh. Mids Mississippi... David! David boat. Martin just gave gifted 10 members. Memberships. David Martin, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. The people who can now watch all the... Ex you can go and watch the, the nude Yogg's video. Cast members. Hog. The, the go, what? go and watch the nude video. Is it me the and you? Nude video. Is it me yeah. and you nude, Duncan? No, it's me, Ravs, nosy eating noodles. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> I was like, wait, when did I get wait, naked? Wait, when did I get naked? <laughs> for our members, I'll do anything for the members. Shout out to the shout out to the members. Honestly, they've been legendary, keeping us going um, through through thick and thin. You know, YouTube. I like, I like YouTube members. Yeah, I don't yeah. mind them. Yeah. Okay, pretty cool. Pretty cool. We've got some good, good, good pretty members. Cool. Members stuff. Oh, Yay! My... God, I'm out of wood. Yeah, I've got some. I've set up some foresters outside my my base, <laughs> my mine pyramid. More foresters. Oh, Man, geez. I'm happy with this. I built this last week. Surprised at how quickly it sprung up. I feel like it's one of the best things I've ever built in Minecraft. Honestly, but... I haven't built. I know this isn't Minecraft. Uh, what was the first? <laughs> Question for you, Duncan. When did you very first hear about Minecraft? What was your like earliest memories of Minecraft? Right? Like when did you do you remember like when you heard about it or like when you first saw a video on it? Or like I think anything? I first saw a video on it. 
for me, I saw a video on it, and it was an in-browser creative Java-only alpha. Oh yes, my God. me too. I was, like, I was like, God damn, this is cool. I can play this in my browser. I didn't That's think dope. it looked cool. I thought it looked shit. Cause it was like really? it had like it had well, like yeah, it was eight flat. Remember, it, it had like eight lens. blocks. It had like I saw it after that. It had like like it was basically just eight colors of wool creative mode on a flat land. I like, think I, the first video I saw was like a roller coaster made out of minecarts, and I was like, damn, this is cool. Really, that's I mean that's fairly advanced, right? The old minecarts. Oh, yeah. that was a bit later in Minecraft. I could be wrong. Well, I mean, I, I maybe I got in late. I don't know. Were not that late? That late? Were you were with us though at the start, weren't you? Yeah, but that was. Were, but were that was minecarts then. How yeah, early were minecarts, yeah. chat? I don't remember. They were pretty. They were pretty early. Okay. Well, if you say so. I, yeah. If you say so, I I believe so. Um. But yeah, I mean, we were obviously there in the early days. It didn't feel like the early days. I remember there was a video where some guy made the USS Enterprise um, in <laughs> Minecraft. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, damn, son. Uh, That's so, so nerdy. <laughs> sign me up. Well, I, the, the main thing I remember about it is that I think we looked at it. Oh, yeah, God, you I did. I can't remember. Did we look at it? You and did, it was... Yeah. I don't know how late that was in our Minecraft career. I guess it was... God, actually, I have no idea of the timelines, honestly. But I do remember that. And I just remember how many creepers spawned underneath it. Oh, God. Because um, it had this um, incredible you know, shadow. Mode. Well, I don't think that was even a thing back then, you know. <laughs> they charged Maybe. shadow underneath, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, I remember like the old... I remember... Because this was the thing, right, back in the day with Minecraft. It was... It had already been going a little while before we got started. And so it was kind of it built up these like rumblings. There was a guy I remember. God, what was his name? Like Dopefish or something. Um, oh my oh. god, I fucking love Dopefish. He did. Yeah, like, he, I remember he had that his name, own yeah. website. Dope Lives. Dope Lives. Oh yeah, you're right. Dope Lives. Dope Lives. Dope Lives. Lives. Yeah, yeah. Dope Lives. Yeah. And um. Oh, he's great. Well, I don't know if he's still going. Probably not. He's probably like got a normal job now. He's probably like an accountant or something. <laughs> well, back in the day, people couldn't do this. You know, there was no way to monetize, right? We had to join a network in order to monetize yeah. our videos. And so a lot of people... Like, we talked about this last week. I don't know why I'm going all like nostalgia on this stream. I like it, though. It's nice talking about... After the stream last week, we went to the pub and we talked about that what was it the 100 million view party or something with yeah and well there's and someone the, did a video on it, or whatever. Um, did What's you the watch deal that? that who watched costing that? That hundreds of dollars to buy the pictures What's well that? Of, who's, who's getting that money getty images or some the, basically <laughs> the people who own those images who owns so, those images Surely i guess this you. is a thing well okay here's the thing like you've got to understand that if someone runs an event they sell the rights to their event to people who are willing to buy them, right? To wait to make money. So ma imagine you're like running a, a, a convention, okay? Mm. You want to, first of all, you sell tickets, right? But then you want to sell like sponsorship rights to the tickets. And so then they get like plastered all over there. Like the, like, you know, there'll be like a, like every time you go to an event, there'll be adverts all over the tickets. There'll be adverts all over the place. You know, it'll be like a Twitchcom powered by uh, Derrily Lunchables. Uh, get your delicious Ooh, Derrily triangles and uh, sponsored by Fridge Raiders. Uh, sponsored by Prime. Uh, I the like new it. energy drink. You know, I like the, be... the American way where like every sponsorship has like. And now we're gonna go over to the uh, Gillette Shave Your Face Zone as if it's like a <laughs> yeah. conceptual place that exists. <laughs> yeah, the Gill Gillette stage uh, where yeah. where we're gonna we're gonna watch some guys play Fortnite. Yeah, normal yeah. stuff, right? Um, now we're here in the Mountain Dew Arena. <laughs> <laughs> exactly right. So they sell anything uh, they fucking possibly can, right, to make any money at all. And one of the things that they will sell is, like, rights to stuff. So, like, even at, like, a party, like, or, or at, like, an event, like the Oscars, right? Someone will be sold the rights to... Oh, no. I'm being overwhelmed. Don't worry. Uh, it's fine, guys. Um, the rights will be... Over, like, you know, the, someone will sell the rights to photos. So, we went to this Yogscast party that was ostensibly thrown for us. But in order to make it cheaper... They'd sold the 
photography rights or something to someone who then takes pictures of all the celebrity guests coming into this party and then can sell them on, right? Right. So we were like, you know, we were like, we had, to, we almost contractually had to stop at the entrance to this party, have pictures taken of us, and before we were allowed into our own party. <laughs> Very weird. Um, but, you know, it's such a corporate, wanky thing to do, isn't it? You could just imagine this shit happening. Yeah. Um, super easily. Oh my god, I'm being eaten a, bit, a little bit, Ravs. There's a couple of... I, I'm i not leaking at the minute, I, but I'm about to run out of arrows. Uh, so I need to up my arrow production. Yeah, oh, probably. I probably need to do that as well. I almost certainly need to do that as well. But I need to up okay my wood production as well. I have no wood. I've got a very... You've got no wood. You should yeah. see a doctor. There's like a pill you can get for that. <coughs> uh -huh. um, oh no, the arrow bodies <laughs> are out of arrows. I heard about it a few years ago. I don't... Oh no, they're out of rocks. It's only the arrows that are left. Oh fuck. Um, We're getting low on those two. What colour's the pill? Uh, I think it's like red. You take the red pill and you, or the blue pill. One of the two. It's either red or blue. Um, and don't. I assumed it. God damn, I assumed don't take it would both. Be white. Why not? Do you know I mean, that's the classic like solution to the matrix, right? Do you want to oh. take the blue pill? Well, doesn't the blue pill like, make you fall asleep? Yeah, but then, cyan then you take, you, you, but you take oh. both, right? And then you have like the upper and so you, you wake up in the matrix but asleep. <laughs> Twenty-two. I think <laughs> that's forgotten yours. everything. Yeah, you cast cyan. You, says, you need to make the goal one key dudes in your main base, otherwise you'll get an anticlimactic end where you set up an outpost. Look, I got do not worry about anticlimactic ends to this series. Okay. Do you know what I mean? This series be a good got... climax. <laughs> this, no, no, no. We ain't climaxing. We're, we're, I'm, I'm always 40. Do you know what I mean? Everything is slightly unsatisfying at this age, right? <laughs> like, we can't guarantee... Look, we, we, the Yogscast is not known for satisfying endings on our series. <laughs> either. So, true. True that. You know what I, mean? like, it's... I have to turn on the feel-safe... I've oh, really? Yes, you're not being overwhelmed already, my dude. But I'm leaking. Oh, my. Well, I was overwhelmed a little. Maybe I need a few more bow boys. I oh, think wait, the... no. The, the, the lads have woken up and they're making ammo. Oh, praise be. <laughs> Part praise of my Jeebus. strategy is to just allow people in to the temple, right? <laughs> yeah, I don't like the strategy of yours. It's freaky. Um, I'm not... I'm not really thinking with with my brain, but yeah. So Minecon, um, I remember at yeah. Minecon they'd sold the rights to the stage shows to IGN, right? Oh. Because obviously they they do, and um, and we obviously had like a uh, an issue with that, right? Because we were like, oh my god, like because they were like, I think I think in fact, I think Maker had told us that this was this was like an issue. They'd been like. You guys are side with us. Because, you know, this back in the day. Yep. Basically, I talked about this last week, but basically the way it worked was YouTube um, didn't want to take on their own responsibility for, for monetizing gaming content, right? They were scared that EA or some of these big companies would sue them. This is how I think it was. It might not be the case. Again, you've got to take, a, take into account that this is my headcanon history of the world. Right? <laughs> so it could right. well be not true but i feel like youtube were like scared of allowing gaming and they've always been kind of anti-gaming youtube generally shout out to youtube uh, gaming anyone uh, anyone it's <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> youtube gaming and we all i could just say that and we all we all just laugh um but yeah the um the back in the day they were like well, we don't know whether we can monetize people. And, and I think they, they thought that this was kind of before YouTube had... Well, I mean, they'd been bought by Google, but AdSense wasn't necessarily fully fully formed at this point, mm. right? It was, like, still taking shape. And, and it felt like they were unsure how to monetize, like, gaming, generally. And gen also YouTube to some extent, too. And so they kind of, like, subcontracted the rights to monetize gaming content out to um, these like networks like Machinima, right? And Maker. Oh my God, Machinima. Yeah. <laughs> I right. about that as a concept. Oh, really? so, 
Yeah. yeah. I mean, machinima was obviously the idea of machinima was that it was like machine cinema, right? It was like people making videos in games. Which honestly, I watched this oh. um, watched this movie yesterday. That's what it means. Yeah, like it was, I watched this movie yesterday, and it was um, I don't know if you've seen it. It's like a it's not a Bollywood movie, but it's like a triple R. Of, yeah, triple R. R R R. Yes. Yeah, oh, I need to. I want to watch like, that so bad. Apparently, it's like you not, seen not it. Bollywood. It's no it's Tollywood. Oh, it's nuts. It's like every it's, it you know how you've every Bollywood movie you've ever seen memes of where there's like a yeah, yeah, yeah. guy doing ludicrous things. It's that, um, and they really embrace it, and it's good fun. It's honestly, I I enjoyed it. Um, I, it was it was fun. Was it is fun. To, to hearing about a bit it long. Earlier. It's a bit long. It's three hours long. It's, it yeah. goes on a bit. And it's a bit, it's a bit, um, there's like, there's, predictable, there's, it's, but it's, it's like fine. an action movie, but in the middle, there's this bit where there's, there's like, there's these two ladies that like, bromance and they're like singing a song about how much they like each other. It's, it's really strange. <laughs> but they, they go out of their way to make sure that they're, they're not gay, though, right? They yeah. talk about their girlfriends and stuff. They're like, yeah, I it, love you and you're my best friend, but I'm not gay. <laughs> like, kind of, it's very, it's very that. Um, <laughs> it's um, weird. It's fine. It's great. I love it. it it's 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 good. Um, I've forgotten what I was, where I was going with this. Oh yeah. Um, um, no, no, I've forgotten again. <laughs> so you know how cinema. You know how cinema, they do sorry, like, yeah, Bollywood cinema. dancing and stuff. Yeah. At the Oscars, they were like, if anyone takes too long on this speech, we're going to have the guys from Triple R come out and dance you off. Well, that's partly why joke. we watched it. But um, yeah. I wanted, I wanted that to actually be a thing i want people to be giving like an emotional speech and then like nine guys to come out and start bollywood <laughs> dancing them off the stage i felt like honestly i was not uh, the thing is there's like a warning at the start of our, of triple r which is quite funny and it's like you know none of the animals in this movie are real they are all cgi therefore anytime yeah. we punch them in the face it's fine right? i mean if i we, feel like that was fairly obvious <laughs> when we punch this tiger in the face and the tiger did know, not look good <laughs> We it's CGI, right? It, it kind of like almost like set itself up with a like CGI warning, mm. and it was not good. Honestly, a lot of these overhead shots looked like they were straight out of a fucking video game. <laughs> and we're getting we're getting to this point where it's only a matter of time before like AI is making movies, right? Or at least animations. We it's should a, get someone doing. I mean, you know how there's like those Watch Me Forever's and stuff. We should get an AI generated TTT made. Well, oh my <laughs> god, so that would be brilliant. That would be fucking yeah. What would we call People it? People don't like, know that this is actually AI generated. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. This is we talked about it on the first stream to mm. kind of try and um, yeah. Was it second? I can't remember. Tom Bates streams? is literally just typing. Uh, He's a our robot. In. Oh yeah. yeah. He's typing our scripts in. But this is it. We, it's it's crazy, okay? I've been watching these things on, like, um, TikTok and YouTube of, like, um, Obama and Trump and ah, Biden, like, they're chatting. Great, aren't they? It's, it's, oh, my God, it's so funny. Um, and so <laughs> kind of, like, it's almost, like, the thing is, like, it's almost perfect. And the AI art generation is so close. It's just inevitable that the next thing is animation, right? Because that's just moving art, right? Like, that's the direction... I mean, going. with as as renderers get better as well, like on um, um, the you know Unreal and stuff like that, you can you can run you can run stuff that in real time that looks a lot. Well, Unreal better, Five you know? is insane, right? Have yeah, you seen the demo for exactly. Unreal so you 5? don't. Like, it's oh going to get to a point where you don't need to be pre pre rendering all these animations because well, it will be able to run an engine. Um, I, I'm just like basically, I've watched some bad movies and Triple R. It's got a lot of bad script. It's got a lot of bad animation. It's got a lot of bad bits in it. It's generally a great movie and I enjoyed it. But I feel like you could, in 20 years' time, look at that and question whether that was made with AI, right? Just, just see what I'm saying? Because oh, it's kind that. of like generic. People are saying generic things. They're doing generic things. <laughs> They're like very... It's all very safe. It's all very... I mean, some of it's quite wild and wacky and created, but I almost feel like AI throws out that weird stuff, right? Um, I guess, like, you know, we're constantly confronted by AI saying or doing weird things that, that sounds like it should be human, right? Like, it always says things that are... I almost feel like we're going to have to get to the point where AI deliberately makes itself shit to, <laughs> to, fool, it, to fool humans, right? And make, make us think that it's not AI, 
right? Because it does the grammar perfectly, for example. Like, all the chat GPT uses perfect English grammar. So we need to... It need, the next thing it needs to do is start mimicking us, like, doing lowercase i's when I when they say I am doing this. Or, you know, not capitalizing things at the start of sentences. Not using full stops Making and commas mistakes. correctly. You know? Like, like to, to make it seem more human. And as soon as that starts happening, which is soon, we... I think I'm just going to, like, retire to a farm <laughs> with no internet and just tr just live um, on, like, an orchard. Like, you know, like like a vineyard, maybe, where I can grow... Do a, do a Picard. Yeah, do... <laughs> yeah. And just, just escape from the world. Because they're nothing... I don't understand it anymore. I want, like, the, the young boys, like the Harrys and the Ravs of the world, to take over. I think you can handle <laughs> the AI revolution, but I don't think I'm... I don't think I can handle it. I'm scared. I'm, I'm excited for the machines. I say welcome them with open arms. Well, it used to be that I always just thought every idiotic comment was made by a child or a troll. Or, but now I think it's a child, a troll, or an AI. You know? Right, it's, a bot. Yeah. Yeah. Like, there's no... It's just a... I can't... I already have this disconnect between... Like, when people on Twitter post things or on facebook post things i almost already think they're not real you know i almost have this like idea that that this person is so stupid or so like that they have they have to be a troll or a child but now i've got the the ai thrown in and i just i, I feel like i live in a world where i cannot believe that anything posted on the internet is posted by a real person <laughs> or at least a, a person i would consider real yeah not that i don't consider a child a real person but children say stupid shit and trolls say stupid shit on purpose. So yeah. AIs are going to say stupid, stupid shit. Oh, my God. I'm getting overwhelmed again. We're just going to have Help. to just... <laughs> I mean, you get the feel safe going, man. Just roll with it. Does, does anyone like... I, I sphere in chat says nothing on the internet has been real for me since 2013. All right, fine. Is everyone agreeing? <laughs> what happened I, then? I don't know. Like, you can just see how the rogue AIs and, you know, Skynet just hides in plain sight how many people are already how many articles are already ai written do you know what i mean like, oh most of them how much how much am i reading on the internet that's just a lot of it yeah that's why you that's why the internet's trash these days it's frightening. That's why you use reddit for everything you know i hate reddit yeah it's better than trying to google anything these days though the thing is we can't stop it like all these there was like a company the other day like a D, &D company who were like we aren't going to hire ai artists right and I'm like, okay, what are you talking about? A, how are you going to know <laughs> if someone is doing it? You know, B, don't, you can't fight. Like, it's like someone saying, you can't oh. fight the machine. It's like, yeah, it's like someone saying, well, don't, we're going to ban cars because horses are great. You know, yeah. we love horses, horse and carts. They're the future. We're not going to, we're not going to allow any cars and our, our employees are not going to be able to use any cars. The secret is, that the artists enhance their work with AI and learn to use it, learn to embrace it. Use it's it as not a tool. secret. There's no choice. I'm, I, I feel bad for the artists that, you know, their work is being stolen and, and you know, all this. I agree. Like, it's, it's, a, it's a scary, horrible thing to have happen. Like, oh, my God, my career, my thing I've, I've trained my whole life for, I'm suddenly replaced by a robot. It's terrifying, right? Um, but... Sorry, but there's it, nothing you can you do. You can use AI to like speed up your workflow. It's and, like, like that picture of yeah. Rihanna's ass on the internet or whatever. <laughs> it's there forever. It's you never can't, going away. You can't put that. You can't get rid of it. What, you can't, where but you can't the, put the where ass back. That, where's that picture? Whatever. Like, do you know what I mean the <laughs> genie's out of the, the bottle? You can't unpost that dick pic. You can't exactly. Like, the genie That's why is you out. never take one. That's why Don't... AI generate all of my dick pics. <laughs> <laughs> you take a picture of your face and it just predicts what your dick looks like. <laughs> That's such a good idea. That's a million pound idea, Duncan. That's a good though. app. We should get a, <laughs> let's get a loan with Silicon Valley Bank <laughs> and set up a new company for that. Um, they'll lend us like ten million dollars to set that up. There's no possible prediction. way. Prediction, yeah, it's good. Um, <laughs> prediction, prediction. That's what we can call prediction.io. That's what you name the fucking <laughs> website. Oh my god, like the why is everything shit. .io now? I like I like .com. You know, like uh, .com feels like World Wide Web. It feels trendy. It feels cool, man. I like .com. Everything is .com. 
I know Silicon Valley Bank just failed. That's why I was joking about it, you idiots. I never heard of Silicon Valley Bank until like f- like five minutes ago. Um, that's the point. The point is that these <laughs> just the Silicon Valley Bank lend money idiots. to any of the dumbest shit ideas. I come on, guys, c- come catch on. up. I'm making jokes. Yeah, I'm quick. I'm witty. He's, guys, he's on on the ball. I'm uh, <laughs> I'm an AI. Um, I'm trying my best. The idea was, you, was that Duncan's, Duncan's you job could, was... It would be, be really easy to train the train the, the dick prediction bot, though, wouldn't it? You'd be, just be like, just set up uh, like a catfish Tumblr a account cow. or something, and you just get... It's like, send me dick your dick pics. It. Yeah. Just, just with like a... He's like a sexy model, you know, buy, buy a picture and then just make an account and just get sent dick pics all day that you could train your bot on. <laughs> 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 oh, God. Jeez, you're too slow for me, chat. Yeah, 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 yeah. You, you underestimate me, chat. You think I don't read Reddit like all of you guys do? <laughs> I'm following all the memes and the... No, I'm not really. I don't... I'm like a partly understand. I think about half of it goes over my head. I didn't really understand... Um, I didn't understand the prime. The, is it prime? The fucking Logan Paul KSI energy drink oh, that all the kids are like selling out the supermarkets. It was it was dreadful. We went to a charity football game, the Sidewind charity football game, uh, last year, and like they brought in some prime because like KSI was playing in the game, and like we had like the Sidemen's like meal service. They do like sides, side sides by Sidemen. And right. I tried the prime drink, and it was fucking vile, disgusting. And well, then, like, it's we just were sugar like a, water, like everything we were, else, right? So. We were like in a we were in a box, uh, and the kids saw that we had prime in there. So like, some dad was like, "Excuse me, mate, you 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 gonna drink that? You gonna keep the bottle? My, my little one wants the bottle." And I was like, "Why are they so obsessed with it? It's crazy. <laughs> it's frightening, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, like, this is the." Foaming at the mouth for Prime. Well, it's just, it's just yeah. Lucas Day, right? <laughs> this Prime is fucking <laughs> minging. <laughs> well, I don't... I, it probably... It's just like any other sh- sweetened water, right? Like, it's not... I'm sure it's not minging, but... Uh, no, it was minging. Well, <laughs> horrible. That that flavour was well, maybe minging. It's, truly but maybe awful. it's like... Um, maybe it's acquired taste, though. You know, you Could have to... Could be. You have to drink a lot of it to... Or you have to be, like, a fan of... The guys to really truly you know, <laughs> yeah, understand. Yeah, because I'm not a Logan Paul fan. It didn't yeah, taste good to me. Exactly. <laughs> that's, what, that's exactly what I'm saying. You know, it's your own fault. Um, right. I'm gonna put some arches up here. Really just hate I'm, yourself. I'm scared. Um. Yeah. Well, what am I doing today? I'm just sorry. I'm just chatting. Um, nonsense. I missed the Beast Burger thing as well with the ghost kitchens. Oh, it's frightening. The world we live in is frightening and I don't understand yeah. it. I'm scared. The ghost kitchen. Is that I'm like scared. the ghost kitchen? It's they make you they make you uh use their menus at a restaurant, like an already established restaurant. Right. Or something, right? So like you'll be a little like shit burgy place and then Mr. Beast Burger shows up and he's like, We're gonna send you all the stuff to make a Mr. Beast Burger and then that's how they say they have beast burgers everywhere, right? right. Or something. I don't know. I, okay. Well, I mean, I the ghost like kitchens that. thing is like you know everyone's ordering their food online, so they don't need to have actual restaurants anymore. Any any asshole can just set up their own fucking kitchen in their lounge and make. Didn't Mr. someone beast do that? Someone, they just have to pay a franchise. Cost. It might have been like Joe Lysett or something. I can't remember. Someone made. They, they, a ghost kitchen, yeah, yeah, yeah. They, Where do you they made that? a, it, it, they they put it on delivery or something like Uber Eats or something like that. I think it was Uber Eats, and they 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 literally just were cooking in a dirty skip. <laughs> yeah, and well, there's people no... were people were ordering and collect and, and Uber Eats was collecting from the dirty skip. Yeah, no I don't know if kept, that's no one gave not, a fuck. Let's not let's not talk shit about Mr. Beastberg. I'm sure it's I'm sure he's got a sock that. Old whatever his name is, Jimmy, James. You scared of old, old fucking Jimmy, Mr. Beast Lewis? I'm not fucking scared of him, but I feel like he's got a strong <laughs> you, you legal team. think he's going to beat you up? And, uh, and he might, oh. well, you know, he might, he's a sensible man. Remember he's got a lot he of money. Remember he made that Very video like, money. here's what? how much money the Yogs cast make. One That's of his like, early YouTube videos. Well, he's I a... don't really like these guys, he said. He's an exploiter. He plays the game. We're all yeah. gamers. We, we, you know, yeah. He, 
some people just don't have any qualms about playing the game, you know? I feel like he's the kind of guy who would, you know, play Fortnite if he thought it would get him some extra views, you know? That's the kind of thing. But he knew that there were better options than that. He he was he's very smart. You know, you got got to give credit to very smart people. They know what they they know what they're doing. Um I'm just too lazy to to bother. I don't know. I feel like I have <laughs> you know. I don't know. I feel like I I've always felt like just don't want to. I just don't want to. Don't want to demean myself. I don't know. I don't want to. I don't know. I just. I'm, yeah. It's like I wouldn't be on. I wouldn't be on. Um. Fucking. I want to be a celebrity. Do you know what I mean? Get get me out there. Whatever it's called. Do you know what I mean? Or the Apprentice no. or anything where I'm just gonna be eating a fucking cockroach and shout with that by a asshole. Do you know what I mean? Or some shit. Mm. I just don't need that. And. Um, I don't want it. I don't. I don't feel like I'm that. I have that much craving for celebrity. You know. Um, meanwhile, but we're sponsored by Gillette today, so <laughs> the best a man can get. I have no. I don't know. I, I. We can. We can shout all from the rooftops that we're somehow better than the next person. Um, but, you know, it's not necessarily the case. So Minecon. Um, Which what one? You, did the you one come you to? to? Did you come to Minecon with me? I can't remember. It went to when the was... Vegas one. So Minecon was what, 2011, right? Yeah. And Minecraft had an official release date. Right? Yeah, they pulled think... the lever. Did they at Minecon? Yeah. Oh shit, you're right. They had that giant lever where they pulled yeah. it and it was like, oh, we released a Minecon. Um, Minecraft. <laughs> that was not. <laughs> I released a Minecraft. Yeah, um, it was a big, a big deal. I'm sure, a big symbolic gesture. Um, yeah. So Minecon was 2011. The thing is, like, we had got successful in in 2010, right? So, so we'd done Wild World of Warcraft. We built up like a little bit of um, following. We knew what we were doing. And this was at sort of a time when not everyone was super clued up about how to do YouTube. You know, everyone was like, I think we, we, we were publishing well, we like 720p really really just... and everyone else was like, <clears throat> what we, doing. We, we didn't really know what we were doing either, but we, we were slightly, we just got lucky. We were slightly more accomplished than people. We knew yeah. how to edit. We knew what we were doing. Fake. I did anyway. Maybe you Thank didn't. You. But, um, we had this huge like boom. And in 2011, everyone was like asking us to everything. Right. So maker, our network were like, Oh shit. These, these idiots that subscribe to us, um, and we just make half of the, we take half of their money because that's how YouTube had it set up, right? The, the, you know, the mono- I mentioned it earlier, like the monopoly sort of thing. Basically, yeah. that's kind of how it was. Like there were Maker, there was um, Machinima, and we basically needed to get in one. And I don't know whether there was some sign up limit or or whatever, but we didn't join Machinima for some fucking reason. We joined Maker Studios, and they basically just hired any anyone who would. I feel like they should have done. Well, a lot of the networks did start just taking anyone on, right? They was just like... Uh, they just, it's like scatterbomb. It was approach. just like... It was basically like a dragnet. You know, they took... They 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 dragged the ocean floor. Yeah. Got loads of weird shit off of it. And then just like... One of those some, things was like... Some of the, very, very thing. delicious. Yeah. And they were like, oh my God, the Yoss cast. We just recruited those idiots. And now they're like the biggest thing on YouTube. And we're making... You know, we're taking half their money. So they were like, come to... Come to LA, come and meet us, stay with us, we're cool guys, you know, well, we, don't go we to Machinima. We were the first UK channel to get a billion views, that's why it was a big deal, right? Yeah, so like, we, we were kind of suddenly, like, being courted, but also other people wanted us to go and do stuff. And the first thing we did was Mo Yang, I think it was Daniel Kaplan, who was, like, business head at the time, reached out to us and was like, do you want to do Gamescom? He wasn't, at, he possibly, possibly wasn't even <laughs> Swedish. Um, <laughs> But he's not, um, not a very Swedish name, to be fair. No, he invited us to. Did I talk about this last week? I can't remember. I don't remember. Um, so anyway, we. I'm just going to talk about it again, just to see what, see if you remember any of this. But we, I think we'd done. I think you might have talked about it at the pub. Did we do E3? I can't remember what we, order we, we did, did a bunch stuff, of E3s. But we did a bunch of things that year, and we were like suddenly going out doing stuff, and it was like holy crap, because up until that point in my life. I hadn't really done very much. Obviously, I'd been on holiday with my parents as a kid, but ever since university, I'm getting a sort of crappy 
doing crappy temp jobs and being like a lazy science writer and wow nerd i basically kind of hadn't left my bedroom in like six or seven years it was like covid but <laughs> forced you know enforced kind of chosen i chose to be like an awkward socially anxious depressed nerd and that's kind of how we all got into wow because that's wow was like this outlet for us right it was like that's our brand um <laughs> And so, so suddenly we were invited to all these places and it was like the world was like opening up and we were like, wow, we can go to America. And I'd obviously never been to America. Well, actually, I had been to America when I was 16, but that was unrelated story. Um, <laughs> okay. A very different experience. Um, uh, but yeah, so, so we were like all over the place all of a sudden. Certainly Simon had never been. And you, I don't think you guys had ever been, right? That was my Before. first time to the US. No, nah, I'd never been. Um, we went to we went to Gamescom. So we did, so so obviously Daniel Kaplan. Have I told this? I feel like I've told this a hundred times. But Daniel Kaplan invited <laughs> us to, to Gamescom, and um, but it turned out it wasn't Mo Yang who were there, and it wasn't like really fans we were supposed to meet. It was this was again back in the I think nowadays people would recruit people kind of know what to expect in this world, but back then it was very new and very unknown like this this kind of internet celebrity was like an influencer it was a, like a novel thing right people weren't influencers people weren't it, it, it was before that and people didn't really understand Hello? like sorry Hello? i'm i'm uh. i'm like i'm stammering <laughs> but basically they sort of invited us out and we didn't really know what to expect they didn't really know what to expect and it wasn't even mo yang it was like Sony Xperia, who were selling the Sony Sony Ericsson, who were a Swedish company, who I assume had an office near to Mojang, right? Right. And had gone in and talked to Notch and be like, hello, Notch, would you like to put Minecraft on our new phone? It's a gaming phone. And Notch was like, oh, yes, I would love to put Minecraft on Swedish game on your Swedish phone. Do you know what I mean? I think it was something like that, right? That was <laughs> how the conversation went in my head. And they were like, I'll give you lots of money. And, Mo- and Mo- Notch was like, I would like to have lots of money. And so, you know, that's, <laughs> that's kind of how it went. Right? And so they, they were like, okay, we will do an event in, in, in Gamescom. We'll do have a booth. We'll, we'll give away some Minecraft stuff. We'll do Gamescom. It was a big event, right? And Minecraft had just sort of got big. And it was like, you know, before that, there was nothing. Minecraft was nothing. And so it wasn't at previous games because it was at previous E3. It didn't have any presence. Um, and so that for some reason, although Notch was resistant to Minecraft going on Steam uh, for some for some obscure reason, he was not resistant about it going on a fucking Sony Ericsson Xperia phone. So I assume they just caught him on a good day. Right? Or something <laughs> yeah. like this, right? Like... Um, any and anyway, we we went there, and obviously no one from Mo Yang was there at all. It was just me and Simon at the booth with a load of German hype men, you know, like sort of sleeveless shirt wearing German <laughs> uh, arseholes, I would call them, um, yelling at the crowd, being all hype, you know, and throwing out T-shirts type thing. And um, we were giving away these cardboard fucking Steve heads. I'm supposed to be signing them for fans, right? Because And there were a few fans there, but it was mostly just German people who had no idea who we were. Because, again, even back then, Germans and French people and people of Spanish people have their own content creators, right? Not all German people want to watch an English language, or any German people would want to watch an English language YouTuber. Some do. Um, and certainly in Sweden and Holland and some other places where they don't have huge or at least didn't have huge own language YouTubers back in the day, um, or, or dedicated YouTube even. Like, back then, YouTube didn't necessarily have, like, Dutch YouTube, like, super early on, right? So they would yeah. tend to drift to English YouTube, and then they would they would know who we were. And so there were a lot of, like, Dutch and Swedish followers and stuff at Gamescom rather than English people. I mean, English people aren't going to make the trek out to fucking... Or Americans aren't going to make the trek out to Germany for Gamescom, even if we said we were going to be there, right? Yeah, Although I think a couple did, yeah. bizarrely. Um, which always sort of surprised me, but but the majority of the people were just <clears throat> German people who wanted the cardboard Steve heads for their children, um, because right. it's one of those things where you you see like people around the convention have like a Minecraft head, and they're like, oh, where did you get that Minecraft head from? And they're like, oh, those <coughs> these two English idiots at the moment booth, <laughs> and so they would go along, they would queue, and they would get one, and they didn't know who we were, and we'd have to sign it awkwardly or like sort of slightly make awkward conversation and we were awkward at the best of times plus awkward about the idea because we were new at this but also awkward yeah. about the idea that people wanted to meet us and awkward about the idea of is this person a fan or are they just a random german who wants a steve head 
anyway, <laughs> when we would inevitably run out of Steve heads, um, I remember it ended up with some German man yelling and being furious with us, and a couple of a couple of sort of there was a lot of like it was very popular, it was very chaotic, it was very messy, right? Very like difficult to um, yeah know what to do and very stressful. And I sort of I kind of put it away as like a eh, they didn't know what they were doing. It's okay. They've never done this sort of thing before. I'm sure, it'll be fine. You know, they're new at this, right? I, I just wanted to be involved, I guess. Like, I felt like I had this sort of, I guess, I guess maybe like a sense of entitlement, uh, even then. <laughs> like, that oh we had God. somehow <laughs> been, like, um, not responsible, but we contributed to, to Minecraft's success, right? And we were on their side. We only ever said positive things about Minecraft, you know, and we, we were like... You know, we weren't, like, shitting on it or anything. We were very, like, pro-Minecraft. And so I felt like, even so, though it had been, like, a complete nightmare of an event, um, we were like, ah, oh, fuck it. And so, so I think when Minecon came along, Daniel Kaplan again contacted us, but he said, I think there was some... They wanted us to come as, like, an exhibitor or a sponsor, right? So they almost sent us, like, a price list. They were like, do you want to come to Minecon? It'll cost you... Five thousand pounds for a for a booth, right? Um, and we were like, "Nah, it's all right. We're not interested. Um, wouldn't mind coming as and like doing a show or something." And they were like, "Oh, sure, you can do a show if you want, but we wouldn't pay you." And I was like, oh, "That's fine. Um, happy to do that." And they're like, "And we were like, can we do a meet and greet?" And they're like, "Yeah, sure. Um, come along." And I think they I think they said we'll pay for like two hotel rooms. So I was like, "Fine, thank you." So we ended up like. Because I kind of wanted to go to the first Minecraft. It was also in Las Vegas, which is yeah. a very big, like, draw. Like, oh, God, like, everyone... If you haven't been to Las Vegas, you're like, I want to go to Las Vegas. Like, fucking hell, why wouldn't you? I've been to Las I, I still want to go. I don't want to go back. Well, but, you, yeah, you but before, you went, before you went, you wanted to Ralph's go, right? Ralph's just scared he's going to lose his money again. Who in chat <laughs> hasn't been to Las Vegas and doesn't want to go to Las Vegas? Hmm? Oh, I bet a That's... lot of people won't want to go to Las Trust Vegas. me, it's a den of depravity. <laughs> oh, it's wild. If you got a free trip to Las Vegas, come on, guys. Like, you wouldn't, you wouldn't want to go to Las Vegas? Everyone's saying, a free trip. You guys are all crazy, right? You guys are crazy. <laughs> um, well, it wasn't free. I mean, they paid the hotels. We had to pay the flights, which is a large amount. But, you know, at the end of the day, the hotel's... And also the hotels are quite cheap in Vegas because they want you to come and lose all your money. It's all subsidized. Anyway. Yeah, and they're really so nice as well. That's another story. It's <laughs> You'd sell it to someone else. You just have the money instead, chat. Brilliant stuff. You guys, sorry, I didn't <laughs> realize you were all like fucking entrepreneurs. Um, <laughs> they're watching all the Mr. Beast videos. They know. They know. They know the game. Dub double it and give it to the next person. I didn't realize the spiffing Brit was in chat with his exploits. Yeah. Um, anyway, Las Vegas, right? Got there pretty overwhelming place generally very very crazy and i think i think the first day we got there so sorry who went i can't even remember did you you were i went you went to vegas how did that yeah. work like tell me what you remember from this because had we met before like what how did we yeah. meet you and what was our relationship with you we we'd met um what in the realm of Azeroth. <laughs> that was been like the year before we moved to Bristol. Yes, it was. We came to Bristol in like 2013. So we I mean, I was, I, I guess it was, I was, I, I was basically helping to make sure that it wasn't. That's pretty much what I was doing at that point. Yeah, you were like, you were kind of, but it was very casual. It was like, yeah. You had your own life, and you kind of was doing it as a favor. It wasn't like we'd hired you. Have no. We ever hired you? Were you ever paid by the Yogs cast? Yeah, I was doing when when I when I first moved to Bristol, I was doing all the thumbnails. Were you a th Were you a full time employee? Uh, yeah, I think so. From not for you long. Salaried. What was your salary? I don't remember. I don't, I don't remember. I were you on the P A Y E? Did I you have tax? <laughs> I think did I wasn't. I wasn't. Did you not paying your tax, Duncan? Do you have the no, Yogscast pension? I think pension. I was. But Duncan I was is doing swag. tax fraud. I was self-employed. I'm I telling think. the government. Don't you dare, Ravs. We're all very scared of that shit. <laughs> <laughs> I've paid so much fucking tax. There, we probably pay way too much. We probably yeah. are not. Ex 
I spoke to Spiff over New Year and he was like, mm, look, I'm saving tax by doing all these things. So I was like, oh, I wish I was like clued up about any of the just, shit you're doing. Yeah, <sighs> I'm too lazy again. Just... We, we've probably paid like four times as much tax as we should <laughs> yeah. have done. Yeah. Well, anyway. Ravs, is, Ravs is paid even more because he hasn't even got his fucking limited company set up. Yeah, I've not set up my limited company, so I've paid a fucking shit ton of tax. <laughs> and I'm really lazy and I know I should set up my company. Anyway, look, we're contributing it. towards the UK government. It's fine. Um, oh, yeah, sorry. Really I'm, we're well. filling potholes out here. <laughs> I, was dis- I was distracted by... <laughs> we're, helping, we're contributing to get these potholes filled in. I think yeah. I was self-employed, so you, you, I was paid like a, a, a freelancer. By Yogscast. Oh right, by Yogscast. But it okay. wasn't for long because I because I had my channel. I pretty much made my channel when I moved to Bristol, and then it, right. it, it wasn't long before it was doing a well. I need that. I didn't. Uh, we need a guy check. Thumbnails anymore. Guy check. I did check. thumbnails for quite a while though, even after I didn't need to be because <laughs> that's before we got Harry on. Oh really? Oh, I remember meeting Harry for the first time. I remember you made because you you had like four hundred videos or something. That didn't have any thumbnail on them, and you were like, and you really? had to go back and make thumbnails for all these <laughs> and oh add it God. to the video. What's our dude numbers at? <clears throat> Which is why a lot of the older ones are quite lazy. <laughs> really? I, I got 229. 282. I got to admit, I'm not playing the game at the moment. I'm just sort of, ugh, I'm just sort of jumping around, checking that my guys aren't dying too much to zombies, and I'm planning. I've installed. My next... I've installed a new security system at Tesco. Oh, yeah? Yeah, we have uh, detectors to see if you're shoplifting. Oh. No, at the fun. at the front. Uh, and if you are, it drops a giant ball on your head. Ooh. Oh. You got, okay. you got traps. You got traps? Yep. Do yep. they work? What do they look like? Well, I've not. no one's got, got any shoplifting out yet. <laughs> okay. Let me know when Pasco. you... Give me a shout if someone's yeah. coming through the traps. God, I need some traps. Okay. Right now, the archers are doing very well. Uh, do, do they have to go through a tunnel to trigger the trap? What's it look like? Uh, Does it kind of look like it's crap? Just like a do- it's like a door. It looks like crap. Yeah, it's a door. It's a door scanner. It's a door scanner. Oh shit! I was hoping the traps yeah. would be like spikes on the floor. Do you know what I mean? Um, you can get projectile ones. These are dropper traps. Anyway, ah! um, I right. fell in the great pit. <laughs> <laughs> Ref's playing Blue C D. Yeah. Um so anyway, uh so so sorry, you you worked when did you went to you moved you moved to Bristol obviously to work with us when we were in Bristol, but before mm. that we were doing stuff remotely. What was the first time you remember like meeting up with us? I came to like, um Reading. You came to to meet us in person. Yeah. And did you we go to like sushi. a pub or something? It's a sushi, oh, very very fancy. Mm. Did I did I pay? Uh, yeah. What? Oh wow. Okay. Wow. This is... <laughs> what did you have? Do you remember? I don't remember. I think it was like actually the first time I ever had sushi. So wow, I just tried okay. everything. Oh. Like, Damn, which is really good. Okay. Do you remember anything else from that? Uh, not really. I, I want to hear much. your like, uh, like your thoughts of us at the time. Like, what did you, what did you think of Yogs? Like, what was your, what was your like? What did you think of us generally, like me and Simon, when you first met us? You be I mean, honest. I mean, we'd been playing WoW together for years, so I was just—it wasn't that you, right. wasn't that weird. You knew what to expect. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. All right. Yeah. Okay. That's very very diplomatically worded. <laughs> That's pretty much what I expected. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, good. You you delivered that really well as well. <laughs> you guys were as I expected. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um. Fun. Yeah, so um, so who was it? So you were, you came to? How did you end up being on the invite list for Minecon? And also, God, who else did we bring to Minecon? It was a whole you mess. Took a of people, bunch right? of fucking random people. It was I did. Uh, fucking Heva, Tin oh, shit. Tin Man. Oh, oh Jesus shit. Christ! Uh, F- Fatima. Oh my God, these names. So <laughs> Heva used to run our website so back in the day obviously I don't, we had you f- don't know what he did we had like someone said like i want to run a yogscast fan forum or like a forum for you guys and we were like okay and so he did that and then i don't know kind of like you know how it is when people in the community end up being cool and talented it's kind of like that you know but mm. 
then who are those fucking nerds we worked with? I know, yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, well, I think I think there were some very good people who stuck around till today, but there's also some not so good people who didn't stick around that we got rid of over the years. Oh my god, yikes! Um, so yes. Uh, you know, like Barry was one of the only people who did like backgrounds and stuff, right? And he obviously is, you know, basically running the Yogs these days um, yeah. in, coll- in collaboration with me and Rich, and um, you know, and other people d- just didn't stick around. So yeah, like I can't remember what any of them actually did. Um, I think there were like Shadow Ristafel stuff mostly. I think. I think there were like eight or ten of us that went to Minecon, um, so... and. It was a, diff- a different time. We were very yeah. swept away in the whole, in all of it. You know, the celebrity, the glamour, you know, the billion views party. You know, we were all was, like a that bit... That was way later. That was way later. That was way later. Yeah. Um, so imagine how naive we were back in, back in the real early days. Um, it's very, very... Even today, like, struggling with this. It's a very strange world to be a... To be recognised, I always feel a bit uncomfortable when someone recognises me in really? person. I'm like, well, I'm, I don't mind. I'm never gonna I get rid love of it. it. I'm never gonna lose it. I'm still in there. I love it. Art. I, the only time I don't like it is when my parents are there because they start fucking talking and asking questions. <laughs> You well, that's me. That's the thing you hate as well, because I'm so awkward. I always like ask those awkward questions. <laughs> Doug's like, "Will you shut the fuck up and just like, <laughs> just let this they person just want to say away. hi and leave? They don't actually yeah, like, want to hang out." <laughs> well, this is like what you keep telling me. They're like, "Why are you asking them all these stupid questions <laughs> about you know stuff?" Um, anyway, I don't know. If I if if I approach like a celebrity that I was a fan of, I wouldn't want them to start asking me personal questions I would just want to say hi I'm asking them personal questions I'm asking them yogs related questions yeah, the, the problem is, is that what I've learned over the time because they, they always that... say either they don't know they, well this is the thing like, like, I think like we have a picture headlights. in our mind of what a fan is right a fan is someone who knows every video you've made has a sex made. pack uh, <laughs> absolutely huge thick and massive tits whereas most of the they, time they have straight A's and everything and they're the best and whereas, they support us I think what I've come to realise what we need to live is that shut up is that most of the time <laughs> people are just they recognise you but they don't know why and by the time they've realised how they know you they don't want to talk to you right they're like oh I recognize you from somewhere. Who are you? Are you my friend? They're like, do I do I know you from something? Because people are nice and automatic. And they're like, oh shit, it's that guy on the internet. I know him for these reasons. And by that time, I've like asked them what their favorite Yogscast video is. And they're like, I fucking don't remember any. I didn't I don't know what my favorite Yogscast video is. Do you know what I mean? And it's just suddenly become very yeah. awkward. Um, so back to Minecon. Um, I remember... Minecon these nuts. What? I remember, <laughs> so I remember basically what happened was we went there and Notch was there and we did an interview. We had an interview with Notch. We did a video on it and you can watch it on YouTube, right? And it's like, I think it might even be two parts. And Notch was quite edgy. I mean, Simon's thing that he always says about that is like, he, he says, um, Notch was like, Wanky, wanky, fuck your mother. That was like the line that Simon always uses for... That's his impression of Notch trying to be funny, right? Um, <laughs> which is is kind of true. Like, I, I, kind of like Notch was like... He, he knew... He, he, he knew what... He knew how almost how to be one of us. I think had Notch spent more time with us, he probably would be <laughs> one of cast us. Notch. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> like... Do you know what I mean? He was like close to being, um, to being like one of us, you know, like all, almost, almost one of us, and like, you know, like almost understanding, but also being very adult with his sense of humor at the same time, right? Like very rude, very kind of edgy, like an edge lord, um, which I don't think anyone would deny when we talk about not saying he's like a edge lord, right? Like an OG kind of awkward, slightly, you know, trying to like, trying to be cool and edgy, you know. I think he yeah. wanted to be it, but because that was what we we were all, we were all younger and 
we were a bit like that from something awful, right? Um, yeah. And so he, like, we did a little interview with him. I think it was fine. And we, we were like, for fine? You know, when you meet these people, like, sometimes you just don't get on with people that you meet who are immediately and it's awkward and weird. But I didn't think, I didn't get that vibe with him. Do you know what I mean? I didn't like, I didn't get the vibe no. that A, he'd never want to talk to us again or B, he didn't be embarrassed or C, like, it was like one of those interviews that they do for movies where they're like, the, the stars are contracted to do a certain number oh, of interviews. Oh God, yeah. And they're always slightly weird and awkward, right? Yeah. Because um, they do like 15 like in a row for different companies, you know? Like that. And, and, all, I kind all, of... and they all ask the same questions. Yeah, exactly. And I feel like we weren't interviewers, but we were... This is kind of like... A lot of this has happened to us over our career. Like, people have expected us to be the complete American package of singing, dancing, presenting, doing everything, right? Whereas, in fact, we're just socially awkward nerds taking the piss out of something, <laughs> out, out of our depth, usually, and very nervous. <laughs> um and so, so yeah, this is one of those times, really, where, where you know, someone is like, oh, you know, you're a press outlet or whatever, because you're here at Minecon. So you've got to do press things, right? You've got to get a microphone and do reviews and do, you know, you get you get led, or at least back then, but even now today, I think people get led into this idea of what you're supposed to do. Um, and and so that was the interview. That, I think that was fine. One thing I remember... We should do a lot of that at E3, didn't we? Yeah, we couldn't stuff. help it. You got drawn into it, right? Partly because in order to get into E3 in the first place, you had to get a press pass, and then you had to pretend yeah. you were press, and they treated <laughs> you like press, and you met a load of people from press, and so you sort of started to just do what the press did, not really thinking that that's not really my jam. Um, we just sort of did... That's weird. Oh, my God. Does bronzing at sneeze? Arable Arable groaned. Grass or dirt? Grass or dirt. It says not arable. Uh, you can't, yeah, but you have Draws to. You can't have any like air or uh, crates there or anything um, in the in the in the square. There is not. Anyway, after like the, I guess the the resounding impression I got from that interview with Notch was that he was also kind of shocked about how many kids were at yeah. uh, Minecraft, and I guess we were in a bit of denial at the time about oh. how young the Minecraft audience was. Right, because Notch, I think, wanted to believe in his head the idea. Again, it's the picture of a fan, right? He wanted to believe that all the folks who were playing Minecraft were his age, right, or like him in some way. And so that was the same thing with us. Like, we were socially awkward nerds who didn't leave our bedroom. We didn't really know what each <laughs> other looked like, let alone what our audience <laughs> looked like. Yeah. You know I mean, so it was kind of like when we suddenly met a load of fans, almost like the Gamescom thing of like all the kids and parents thing. I was like, I kind of just was like bemused. I like didn't, it didn't fully settle, but it wasn't until Minecon that I really realized that like, oh my God, the audience of Minecraft is very young and what are we doing? Um, do you know what I mean? Like this, our content and we're not sensitive. We're not kind of, you know, we just done this interview with Notch where we're like talking about wanking and fucking your mother and all this stuff, right? And our audience is like young and we feel suddenly like, yikes what are we doing right but, oh but i think notch felt that even more like I, I always said like he wouldn't have ever done this in las vegas had he known right that the audience was that young um he, and i think it was one of these things where notch was like i want to do las vegas i want to do a big party i want to do a thing that i've never done i don't think he'd done this before either or like been a celebrity or rich or anything like this like but suddenly he was right he was like at the time notch was like this huge figure on twitter he was like the the, the um the fucking Jeff or the bloody Jeff. um my Tom. name Jeff or, or the nice piece. or the Tom no well no but in gaming so I don't know who's an example today uh, like like um or Jeff Keeley no no <laughs> like like um Hideo Kojima or whatever he's like a game designer like you know he, don't he was like speak their names in the same mean? sentence like he was <laughs> like he was a big deal like as as he was about as far as along as a game developer could be also a celebrity right everyone he had this huge following he was like todd howard yeah he was kind of like this very almost like an influencer himself right um <coughs> and and had 
had kind of lent into that. You know, that was the thing that I was very critical of Minecraft of back in the day, maybe in private, but I always felt like I didn't like the idea of how they were celebritizing their developers. You know, they take on these guys like um, Dinnerbone or Yens or whatever the fuck their names were, that ginger guy. Do you remember him? Skinny oh, yeah, ginger guy with glasses. Oh, yeah, that you know guy. I mean? But they were just employees, and suddenly they were thrust into the into celebrity status as like Minecraft people, you know. And I thought that was always Jeb. Jeb. I thought that was always Jeb. very kind of dangerous and like a little bit cruel. Um, anyway, that was later. But but so 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 we went out onto the sort of show floor, and it was not a very big convention, Minecon, right? It was like one room with like kind of a few things in it, and we hadn't really. If, if, the thing is. We hadn't really experienced every, anything like this before or since. Simon and I had obviously done, I think, a series of vlogs leading up to Minecon where we were like, we'd shown our faces and and so so if, but even doing that, we didn't really think everyone would recognise us, but they did. Every single person in that convention, it felt like, knew who we were, and if they didn't, they were crowding around to see who we were, and yeah. so as a result, it was like. And we were trying to be nice. We were like, we were, tr and we had no security, no people were assisting us, no staff, nothing. So we walk out. And the first thing we did was we walk out after this interview with Notch, and we were just swamped with people. And there was like more and more people were like building up in like a concentric circle, right? Like every time we'd say hi to someone, take a picture with them, or sign something, there would be four more people, right? And then we talk to someone else, and there'd be four more people, and they would be waiting patiently, or there'd be usually young kids with their parents, and their parents would be like. Are you going to sign my kid's thing now? Are you going to take a picture with my kid now? Kind of thing, like, a little bit American, a little bit pushy, a little bit like, I've been waiting for 10 minutes, I've been waiting for 15 minutes, I've been waiting for half an hour, you know, in the middle of the fucking show floor. And we didn't know what to do, because we were like, we can't just say, we didn't even really know to people at that time to be like, oh, sorry, we've got somewhere to go, or we've got to do this, because we didn't have anything to go or anything yeah. to do. do you know I mean? We didn't have an excuse. We didn't have, like, a green room. We didn't have anything that we, we couldn't make an excuse. And we were we were almost like, and initially like a little bit excited we had a, we had you know, a like damn room. there's like people were interested in talking to us great i want to talk to people and then then a little bit anxious then a bit worried because there's like people starting jostling then a little oh, bit shit. like oh shit oh shit oh no shit. exactly what? what oh shit oh god you you're frightened leaking. me you're leaking. leaking i'm leaking i'll come have a look why is um, everyone dying fucking hell scared the life out of me we weren't oh, like shit. that but i think i think there was like people had when we'd done Gamescom, people had been like shoving and like pushing and stuff, right? And it had gotten a bit, I don't want to say dangerous, but I think some people had got injured, right? And, um. It's because it's day. And, and we were like scared of. Oh, shit. At Minecon, of people like oh, getting hurt, I guess. Oh, shit. You were yeah. right, Duncan. I know, sorry, I know we're playing Collie so Survival and this isn't like the time for a fucking. So much help. I'm doing like, this is your life. How. How ah, has this happened to you? Ah! Ah! Oh my god, they're ah! everywhere. There's zombies day just in your fields eating your dudes. I need day guards! Dudes. I need day guards! Well, this is why I haven't done anything this episode. Ah! I didn't want to add any more dudes, because I thought, this shit's going to happen. There's just a guy here munching through your dudes. I know! He's got a billion health! You need <clears> Tom. <throat> Without Tom, you're just nothing. Come on. Um, Die! <laughs> Die! <laughs> you fucker! The panic. You even kill the same guy. Yeah, I use like twenty here. arrows on him. That one. Oh god. Oh, I killed my boy. I killed my beautiful boy. Come back. This is great Fucking action. Die. This is great action combat, isn't it? Is anyone else the, left? Of colony. Is that it? No, there's one over there. Well, they're just He's... in. What do you get from a mountain biome? Gold. Gold. I need to look any. I haven't done any research. Sorry on colony. Holy shit! That was terrible. Sixty dudes died. God, that was frightening. That was frightening, Duncan. Um, you just yelling, Telling me. And screaming. Yeah. And I, I guess like, I guess it was a bit frightening at Minecon. You know, like, <laughs> like it was shocking to us a little bit. You know, and how many? Because we we were kind of overwhelmed, and I think. Um, we did, like, I think we did make a fuss, right? We did kick up a bit of a fuss because, like I said, it felt like just before the show, Maker were upset with us because IGN had, like, 
claimed our stage show. And we were planning on showing off the new episode of our series and making it like, well, you know, if that's going to be on their channel, they can copyright claim it and stuff from you. And I was like, well, with not much we can do about that. And so we sort of complained to Mo Yang about it. And they were like, well, you know, we just whatever. It's not our problem. It's your problem kind of thing. We're like, all right. So then, and then there was no security or staff. We didn't really have like a space we could escape to, at least initially. But then I think once the staff at the casino, wherever the fuck this thing was happening, uh, realized that it was kind of getting out of control. They gave us like a, a green room or, or they oh, gave yeah. us access to like the Mo Yang's safe yeah. room. So we were kind of in there hiding out. And then we had to do a, a signing event. And we I remember we turned up to the signing event and there was nothing set up. There was no table. There was no ropes. There was no yeah. pens. There was nothing. There was just like a picture where we could stand up and take pictures against like the Minecraft banner. And that was it, right? Um, and there was, there, there was like nothing. And so I think we sort of went around and asked some people and managed to get some stuff to meet everyone. But by then there was like a huge queue, you know, that was going all around the place and it was like completely out of control. It um, was. I remember that. Oh my God. And so, and so, and so I think me and Simon ended up signing stuff for a, a, the whole day, right? Like it was like six hours or something. And even then we, we were like, we felt bad because we didn't get to see anyone. And again, we, I think over time people came in and like um, realized that something was going on and we, we got some volunteers, you know, some orange shirts or whatever the fuck, you know, like, like unpaid oh. folks who <laughs> basically, was... they got a ticket to Minecon. You know how this works at conventions, right? Certain people get can get tickets to volunteer where they have to basically just work for the three days, but they get a free ticket to not see any of the convention because they're working the three days. Um, it's a scam. Never do that. Uh, never volunteer at a convention. You think it's going to hmm. be great? It's not. Um, so some of those guys helped us out, I think, and, and and it was fine. I think we had a great time actually in the end, and we met loads of people. Yeah. But I think um, I think our queue was longer than Notch's queue, and I think I remember some people talking about that, and I think I think we got a bit frazzled as well by the end of the six hours, and um, yeah. Anyway, I think the next day, or maybe it was even the same day. It can't be in the same day. It must be in the next day. We did our show, but we had to turn up for a rehearsal, right? And our rehearsal was cancelled. And I was like, what the fuck? Why is our rehearsal cancelled? <laughs> and I remember our rehearsal being told our rehearsal was cancelled because Mo Yang were doing their panel rehearsal and they were overrunning. And I was like, their panel is just them behind microphones, right? Why do they need a rehearsal in the first place? Um, so I think behind the scenes, I'd probably been a right... A right little diva, little diva. Yeah, because I, I, I complained about people getting injured in the, in the signing and being not having support and not having security, not having a green room and not having a rehearsal. You know, I complained about everything. This whole fucking convention to everyone behind the scenes, not publicly. Hmm. And so I think, looking back, <laughs> I think <laughs> that's probably what contributed to not <clears throat> being so mad with us after the event, right? Because I remember he referred to us as like an island of egos and he did all these tweets. And it was kind of quite shocking because it felt like we got off the plane. We got home, we got off the plane and he tweeted all this bad stuff at us. And I think at the time we thought he had some sort of power and influence, right? Because it was coming off the back of this time when he could have turned around on YouTube and just said... No, right? You can't make Minecraft videos ever again. Yeah, that or, really Minecraft. People, or people could have contacted Maker Studios and say, the Yogs cast are, are scumbags, kick them out. And then we would have, you know, not had a network. Do you know what I mean? Like, there was all this fear that, you know, people would believe him as well. And, like, we'd get this bad reputation. And, I mean, little did we know that you could basically get away with fucking anything as a YouTuber and no one will give a shit, you know. <laughs> um you know fuck's sake um but oh, no, you know, that's I think, true well it's surprising what you know what it's surprising what people can survive isn't it on youtube uh or have done it in the past um but it, but you know anyway another story and i think at the time we were like we were, like, thought about it and we were like do we want to make this a, a big deal or whatever or go be, be really stressed out and angry about it and we all were like well fuck it like you know who cares like i basically said i'm never going to notch was like you're never allowed at another minecon and i was like i don't want to ever go to a fucking minecon <laughs> ever again 
So I never have been to another Minecon, and I never will. Um, well, they're never in Vegas, that's why. That's true. If they it was were in Vegas, Vegas again, I might consider it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> um, but yeah, like I guess, um, I guess that's like that's how I feel about Minecon. It's kind of a weird, a weird journey into the distant past. And looking at it through different lenses is weird as well, right? Because we all, I think there was just like <coughs> everyone just, trying to do their best. Yeah, but it's it all coming yeah, out like we expect it to be better run than it was. But then you know it was their first convention and it was a big one. Yeah, it's like you meant didn't, to, I you didn't to, intend to like, talk about Minecon. You want you want to like you want to build time. up small, you know? It's like our, our Yogcon was small. You don't want to go straight in with a fucking Las Vegas mega con when you've never done it before. You don't know what you're doing. Yeah, I feel like it should have just done it in Sweden, right? Like <clears throat> most people do it in their back garden. Um, yeah. But I, I don't know. Like um, we were all. It was a different time. We were different. Like people were different. It was obviously very stressful mm. for us at the time, and we had this this different different viewpoint on it that, that changed. Uh, but that our, was, that our was just first because... drama. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> well, there were many more, <laughs> many, many more. I missed that first driver. <laughs> yeah, this is way before you were even a glint in your pappy's eye, Ravs. You know, but you were there. Don't I... You were in the heart of it. You must have your own take on my car. Sorry, Ravs, you go talk. I was still very much there. I just, you know, wasn't doing YouTube videos. I would, I would be there on Ventrilo when you guys would come back and be like. This fucking notch guy, yeah. <laughs> He's a knob. <laughs> He's a fucking knob, he is. I'd be I'd be chatting shit with you on on Discord. What a guy. I've been trouble. Wanky wanky. Well, um, <laughs> wanky wanky, fuck your mother. Yeah. So I mean Yeah, what did you, so God Doug, what do you remember about Minecon that I've forgotten or missed out? I mean I'd be I really mean, talk to Simon about I, I remember Simon um Wanted to actually see the convention, so he put a Steve head on and just walked around like that. Right, all, right, right. Him. Yeah, that's a good <laughs> idea. We should have just done that. That was like, that's like, um, you know, doing that before it was cool. Wasn't there that <laughs> thing where Brian Cranston like um, put a Brian Cranston mask on when he, he went around? Comic oh yeah, or something? yeah. It's, yeah. Like, it's like Breaking Bad. <laughs> it's a clever way to go about it for yeah. sure. Yeah, that's funny. Um, do you remember everything else? Yeah, I survived that night pretty well. Hmm. What do you remember about Vegas that first um, time? I, I, I had fun. I a don't think... pit of despair. I a realm of sadness. Didn't I mean? I I, I remember I won I won a ten dollar chip, of my first spin at roulette, and I was like, oh, I'm going to keep this as a souvenir forever. Right. And then I went on a roller coaster and it fell out of my pocket and I lost it. Mm-hmm. Mm. Hmm. Was that the Sorry, New man. York New York roller coaster? Yeah, yeah. One on the top um, of the scene. We went to we went to see. Did we see a show? We saw a Cirque du Soleil. Did I don't we? think we did, or maybe we did, but Simon didn't. I think because he had like con flu. Yeah, uh, everyone got sick afterwards. Everyone we saw, got sick. We saw the Beatles one, I think. I think oh, did so. we? I have I think no recollection of that. I think I've been to Vegas quite a few times now, so it kind of all merges into one. Right. <laughs> Do you recommend it? Den of Iniquity? Yeah, I love it. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Good fun. A oh. dark and evil realm. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, like, I think... I think it's, like... It's a strange strange thing to, to remember. And I think you've got to couch all of this stuff in, like... We didn't know... we You know, where we came from, what we were doing. It's, so, it's such a weird time. And the people we were interacting with were not, like the most experienced this was all new to yeah. everyone right like yeah. everyone and i guess everyone the nature of humanity is that we will be shit for ages because <laughs> um, we because everyone doesn't, you never go in has and to, do something best best first time you know yeah everyone everyone has to be weird and awkward and odd first time yeah have i met anyone in chat has anyone met me in chat and tell, I want to hear what you think about when you met me or Duncan or Revs, obviously. Um, and was it a good experience? Be honest. I want you to be. Yeah, were we nice when you met us? Honest. Really yeah. Nice. Um, I'm always nice. Thankfully not, says Tef. 
I should have you at King Street Pest. Nice Jenkins. Really, Jenkins? That doesn't. I've <laughs> stabbed you in Glasgow. <laughs> <laughs> Um, you were taking to all and give me the fucking money. Mm. <laughs> you haven't visited Finland? Someone? No, 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 no. There's no, no. Doug has never adventure. been to the Bristol Crack Den. Um, haven't I? Serendipita. I love meeting you at EGX. You were so chatty. Simon was so quiet though. Well, oh. if you met Simon, that's rare. Like Simon's been to about, you know, a quarter or less, like ten percent of the things that I've uh, we've been to. It's hard to. It's hard on him to get out and do stuff, you know. It's it's, it's exhausting going to like a convention and meeting people. Kind of like it's, it's meeting a load of people is weirdly um, because you're kind of in a production line, right? You're on like a conveyor belt meeting people, and because you want to meet as many people as possible, but you also want to give people a good experience when they meet you, in a sense, right? And so you end up like. I, don't, I think the human brain isn't made to recognize that many or see that many faces, right? It kind of like gets super frazzled, well, at least mine does, when I meet people at events. Um, even if I'm, I'm not even signing anyway, stuff. Because so. go, I go to like, you know, I went to like Bristol's. Forget um, people instantly. Uh, they went to a gaming convention at Brighton and I was just meeting ordinary people and I was like, God, like people were constantly introducing me and giving me names and my brain was just like on <laughs> fire. Wait, um, I remember that you Jenkins Waterbottom said you bought my mate a pint and chatted us with for an hour on a day when I couldn't come out. I remember you speaking to those two lads for fucking hours. Me, Lewis. Yeah. Well, yeah, I am... it was the, the the day you went in with the lads into the pub. You were just drinking with some fans for well, a while. Like, usually, like that'll be these days. It's if they wanna. I have better cues, right? So if they're sick of me, I'll know when to leave. But if they're <laughs> ah. if they're talking to me, then I'll usually carry on listening. Because I like, I like talking to people and I like hearing what they have to say, but I'm careful not to like be the one doing a monologue like I've done today. <laughs> oh, yeah, maybe I'm not that sensitive. Actually, haven't thought about it. Oh, for the I last like your three, monologue. For the last two I hours, like, I've just, I like, I like I've your just monologued at you. I'm sorry. I like it. I like <laughs> the monologues. It's like you know history and stuff. It's cool. Yeah, Matt we need to know this. Met Martin. You should write a book. Bro. It was nice. Yeah, write a book, I don't know Lewis. If I can write a book. What, my autobiography. We could just the transcript diggy diggy this, book um, two. Transcript this thing. <laughs> diggy diggy, the diggy book. Diggy diggy book. The history of the diggy diggy book. Oh, oh my gosh! I need to upgrade my fucking my fucking colony capacity. Let me tab Five out. Points. Let's just tab it out. So I have like... an I have an outpost now, and I have set it up in the mountains they're getting me gold in them their hills well, i'm looking for Rock tin and, and i can't find tin can you find tin tin, tin is under oh it's also in the mountains uh, shit snowy no, mountains it's in, wait it's tin in the mountains can also be found in Albany snowy mountains oh there's some great oh, yeah. ones here yeah so princess... both gold and tin are, are in the mountains princess... shit i need to go back princess nari nari i says i would love to meet you guys one day i'm such a long fan already long as even tall um oh. A long yeah, fan. very a very long fan. Um, I hope I can go to Yogcon one. I would love to do another Yogcon. We feels I'd love like to it do might happen. Well, it feels like the world's getting back to normal again, right? Um, like definitely, like with the the ghost of COVID, it felt like it wasn't possible. But I think nowadays, I could see us doing another one. That's the first time I've thought about Yogcon in years, though. I must admit, Yogcon was so fun. It was um, so wild it was feeling. Too hot. <laughs> it was too hot. It was too, if we it was do it too again, hot, but that we, was just bad luck. Can we pick an, a nice <laughs> venue with air conditioning next yeah. time? <laughs> sure, Vegas. Vegas is free. <laughs> Let's do oh, Vegas. No. Let's do Vegas. No, don't take me there. Well, our audience are finally the right fucking age for it, Ravs. They finally, <laughs> all, they're all 21 now. Oh, shit. Vegas. I don't know if you want to do it's a only con taken, in Vegas. It's only taken Vegas 12, are... 13 years. Vegas oh. cons feel like so seedy though, right? It I feels know. Like a, it's like a crypt. A cryptocurrency con will probably be happening at the same time. It'll be time. weird with like Lady Gaga <laughs> performing in the next hall as well. I yeah. think the worst. I think the bad thing about Vegas cons is that people um, are going to compare your con to what it's like to hang out in My Vegas con. without oh. Oh. without going to a con. <laughs> you know. Right. So it's yeah. like I could go to your con, or I could go and hang out in Vegas. <laughs> You know, and there's yeah. got to be something that I'd rather do. Yeah. Um, Joe Vickers says, I got my guitar pick guard signed and Duncan made fun of me for having a tiny guitar. 
What on oh. earth does that mean? <laughs> that was a while, a while back you posted that. <laughs> William Truitt says, I want to have a beer in a pub, but my parasocial brain wants it. I totally agree. Like, if, if you meet me in the pub, William Truitt, I am far less interesting. I'm, like, cold. I'm miserable. I want to go home. Um, I'm not, I'm not like, a good pub friend. I'm, um, I'm, I'm a better in a, I'm better in colony survival, I promise. Uh, <laughs> what I'm, does ten I'm less good in real like? life. Uh, tin or I, I think that's just regular it's like crap. people all crap. Oh, every, every time I, I just get a set thing set up and then the night hits and then I can't make it. I met I Duncan and Rouse on my graduation day and it was a privilege to buy Duncan and Ped a drink. They were so lovely and friendly. That's from AC Mon. Oh. That's a nice one. Uh, AC Mon, yeah. Lovely lad, AC Mon. AC Mon. Ma uh, Ma uh, that's what I see, I, but I'm dumb. Bill Bog met us and Duncan back in Insomnia in 2015. Been watching ever since. There we go. That's Aww. good. Didn't meet Simon though, because again, rare. If you got Simon's signature from an old con, that is like. OG stuff. Um, blah, blah, blah. I sent extra stickers in Duncan Trousers' parcel. What does that mean, says Original H-Bomb. That's like Did an you AI. a sticker on Duncan's cock? <laughs> I sent extra stickers in Duncan Trousers' parcel. It's oh, like it's an like, AI. Like, do they order some trousers and you put stickers in, in the box? Oh, you ordered some trousers and they sent you extra stickers. That's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Thank you. Um, Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, this is... I'm Sorry, I'm reading through all the chat. Um, all right, good. I've, I've caught up to date. Thank you, everyone. Um, thank you for the lovely, lovely message. How much is a legit Simon Lane signature worth? Mm. I don't know. Mine are, mine are the least valuable, I think. Um, I recognise Simon They're just most. the most common. Well, that's why. They're, that's Lewis why signs they're everything. Yeah, I'll, I'll Someone see. sent something in the other day. It was like, can I get Rabs and Harry and Ben to sign this? And then... And then Lewis signed it as well. He wasn't even asked. And also, someone asked for the odds guns to sign everything, and I just signed it on everyone's behalf. I was like, I, I was like, I can, I can either leave this in the office for four weeks, and you'll get like a mismatch of random signatures yeah. who I was passing through, or I could just sign it on everyone's <laughs> yeah. behalf and send it back to you. What would you like? <laughs> um, but some people want to collect them all, so I, I usually give people the option of what they want. Actually, I feel like that works. Works better. Um, why does Raps only like have a, five all colonists? colonists yeah. in Tesco, Rock and Stone Co. were killed. You've only got uh -oh. five colonists. Oh. Everyone's died in your colony, Raps. What have you been no, doing? This is my, this outpost, my out, outpost. outpost. Oh. I forgot to give them a guard. Oh, fuck. You founded oh, the Rock and fuck. Stone colony. I was wondering why everyone yeah. was I'm out of Rock fucking arrows. This is the end. This is. I need help. This is the end. Come and bring me arrows, Lewis. You quick. need to use your thing, your emergency thing. I don't know if I've got any points in it. Oh, balls! <laughs> Trigger. You're fucking dead. I triggered it. I triggered it. What happened? Well, I killed. Did die? It killed some guys that were near it, yeah. I think okay. I'm actually saved. I told you. That's a. You got the gouge Del Free card. How many thousand arrows did I shoot that night? I had like a thousand arrows. I need more Fletchers. Oh my god. I'm scared. Uh-oh, there's still more okay, guys coming. The, I have two lovely lads that now take care of my rock and stone brothers. I'm very concerned about my base, of, of adding any more dudes, because I've got this beautiful pyramid <clears throat> that I'm ruining with guardsmen. I think I might have to get a maze next time, around the back or something. Oh, this fucking How much further do I have coming? to fucking go for this fucking thing? <laughs> fucking... Have you got any questions about Minecon? This is my this is my last I'm not gonna talk about it for a while, so got any questions, any thoughts, any feelings? Anyone in I'm chat? I'm punching this guy to death. <laughs> oh god, please die! <laughs> good. What did yeah, it smell send your like? questions in chat. It smelled like um it smelled like pretty bad. It smelled like carpets, like freshly laid carpets. Like every convention smells like because they get in all these... Well, it did back then. I don't know if they do it nowadays. But back then, everyone was would lay, like, carpets on their shows. And so you get that new new carpet, new car smell. You new know carpet I mean? smell. Yeah. Oh, did I get a Minecon cape? I don't know if I... I don't know if we I did. Was that... well, your us, your account's been hacked, hasn't it? Your Minecraft account's been hacked? I've lost it. I didn't, yeah, I didn't yeah. get a Minecon cape. I should ask Ben about it, see if I can figure out what... I don't what... think I actually... Because we didn't need accounts to go to Minecon. 
so we didn't like give them our account details, so we never got the capes. Right, right. Well, I don't think we cared about those capes back then, you know. Nah. You know, we weren't. How fan. old do you think you'll be when you stop going? What you mean, like streaming and doing content and stuff? How what? How old do you think you'll be when you stop going? Well, this yeah. year, me and Duncan are working on the Civ channel. We're making some Civ games. We're playing Civ Five. We're having fun doing that. Um, me and Ben. So are there, there's on your answer. They've games evolved night. to play old man games. <laughs> and we're making we're making making fun videos on the main show. We're, we're doing this. We're making doing the Triforce podcast this year. Um, we're trying to make an effort to to do more interesting stuff. They're the, they're the three main projects that I'm doing this year, and I don't I don't I don't have a retirement planned yet. But like I said earlier. Um, if the AI uprising replaces me, there's nothing I can do about it, right? Like, I've just got to embrace it. I'm looking at making a board game, and I've been using Mid Journey to make some art. Duncan, um, Ooh. Duncan inspired me, and so, so I've been like, oh. I've been, I've been, so to any artists, don't be mad. Um, don't be mad at me for trying to make some Mid Journey. I've had a lot of fun with that, and, um, yeah, I'm, I'm, in, I'm enjoying. I mean, I mean, I'm happy. I'm enjoying where we are. I've got a good plan. I'm enjoying making content for the first time in a while. Um, I got very tired of some of the streams I was doing. But Lydia messaged me the other day and was like, oh, this new F FMV game came out. And I was like, do you want to stream it together? And she went quiet. And I was like, oh. <laughs> um, but then when she came into the office to record a thing with Tom the other day, she was like, yes, I will marry you. And I was like, what do you mean? And she was like, I want to I'll stream that game with you. And I was like, oh, okay, cool. So we might do like a one-off uh, me and Lydia stream. Might do, it on the, might do it on the main channel. Might do it on this. Oh, might do, right, it, on might do it right here. Might do it on wow. YouTube. Uh, that's to come. Because that was really fun. Me and, me and Lydia. Big fans of murder, me and Lydia. And we usually like... Good murder. When we haven't chatted for a while, we catch up on all the murder shit we've been reading. <laughs> all, the, all the horrible ways people were found to kill each other. Um, which, which we love. Uh, what happened to Simon's peculiar proportions? Simon has just been... Uh, I haven't seen him, actually. The well, thing is, we're like ships in the night. He's been doing stuff with Tom, and and that's been on the normal peculiar portions days. And Simon usually, with his own streams and his own projects, um, so peculiar portions is always like a kind of afterthought, and we just haven't gone around back to it for some reason. So we're just maybe we'll, maybe we'll do it again, maybe not. Again, Simon's oh, peculiar, shit, It's very loose. Um... Simon's been Simon's Simon's got a busy schedule, and um, that's all. But if he if he if it if it loosens up again, but I think Simon, I think, Simon streams yeah. all the time on his channel as well. I don't know how much I can say, but Tom's doing an RP thing with Simon in it. And uh, have you have you been in it yet, Revs? Yeah, I, I was on an episode, and, um, um, which is very fun. So yeah, I don't know. I don't want to spoil or anything, but I'm very hyped for um, that, that that's happening. Tom's doing an RP thing because Tom's a brilliant DM. Uh, really creates great worlds and has a really good experience and is a really good storyteller and is big into um, it's, it's always good when someone who knows what they're doing is, and is passionate about something puts puts energy and time into it right? I think that's the, the way to do it so yeah, I think that's that's where we are did I get anything for Simon for his birthday? I got, I got nothing for Simon for his birthday, no but he wasn't here, I knew he wouldn't be in on his birthday so I didn't oh, have I'm to get him anything panic. I'm not going to leave a present on Simon's desk for him to get, like, when in the two weeks' time when I actually see him. Yeah. You know? Because then he'll be like, oh, I forgot about my birthday. I, go, oh, I, just... I usually get something for Duncan, but then I drink half of it, so, you know, it's kind of half for me, half for Duncan. Yeah, I just got a bottle of rum in the office that we've been drinking. <laughs> <laughs> um, when's your birthday, Ravs? The 11th of August. Oh, it's ages, all right. I'll make a note. Yeah. Uh, we should wrap up. Um, oh, thank you. I, oh, I've God. had to abandon my tin quest this week. I'm having uh, a, I'm having a, a, a mare. I'm having a mare. It's getting, it's taking forever to make these crossbow guard pedestals, right? I switched over to four crossbow, crossbow bolt production, which means I've got no other ammo, right? And now yeah. I can't make enough, um, got night, night, night guards, because uh, they take forever to build. And I'm yeah. basically, if they're not done by this night. I'm 100% dead. Well, you can remember you can always uh, block off your base with a a little block, and then they'll all queue up on it and die, and then you can unblock it and block it quickly, and it kills them. Don't they? Don't they go siege mode? 
Yeah, they do, but only for a second. It basically, uh. you can fuck up their pathing quite easily, Duncan. If you if you manually control zombie flow, you can, you know, it's like uh. it's not really like a peace stream. Um, <laughs> let's end the stream. Peace let's end the stream. Oh. <laughs> You can okay. manually control your flow of zombies, is what I'm saying. I see. Um, yeah. Got five day ones. <laughs> I don't know where that analogy was going to go, uh, but I just decided to give first. up on it before it dug me a, a hole. I'm destroying all hole. the... If I destroy the slingers, then I'll have... Thank you, everyone. Thank you for the stream. Some Thank you for um, the, the members' stuff and the super chats. Sorry if we didn't read any of them. Yeah, we be sure to check out them, the members. It's very interesting. Is it, <laughs> there's a... Members. And, um... Hi, member. And, and sorry for the super... Cool new member video stuff coming soon. Next week, I promise... I have done nothing this whole hour and two hours or whatever we've done. I've not built, like, anything useful. Oops. I'll do it next Oh, yeah. Week. Lad, lad count. I'm on 280. 280. Well, that you can't yep. include colonies, though, remember? It, 282. You can't inc include outposts. It has to be main colony. Uh, yeah, main colony. So I'm going to have to build a couple of extra labs. <clears> but 282, yeah. baby. I'm right, at sweet. 256. Uh, you're the best. Thank you, everyone. Um, hope you in hope the Yogscast fan channels enjoy my weird hot takes about <laughs> Yogscast history clipped out oh context. God. I cannot wait. Yep. Cool. Can't wait for all the Reddit threads when people catch up on this. <laughs> I can't wait until like it turns out I remembered it completely wrong and oh my god do you know I mean it's like well actually this is just stuff I dreamed um, can't wait for Mr. Beast to sue us um, oh, it's, gonna be, yeah. it's gonna be great I'm gonna, I'm gonna pop out now and um, yeah <laughs> maybe, I, maybe I was just an AI all along alright thank uh, you everyone well, yeah. we love you and we'll see you next bye. time alright bye 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 bye, bye. bye.